if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 55 of My Player here on FIFA 16. We're 85 rated now. We haven't been selected for the game at home against Derby, which is intriguing. We were selected, obviously, for the game against Juventus in the Champions League in the last episode, which was only a handful of days ago. We get a 1-1 draw. Naismith gets the goal, who was my replacement in that game. Our quick Tyus Browning is out for three months with a broken rib. Brilliant. So we sell John Stones, and then oh, Tyus Browning gets himself injured for three months. Sick. Brilliant. That's put me in a good mood. Well then, we draw against Derby, and then we've got Watford in the Capital One Cup, and then West Ham. I don't know why we were dropped. I mean, we were quite ha happily played against Manchester United after the same you know, gap after we played against Portugal. We played against Juventus just three days after, and then four days later, he wouldn't play me against... Derby. That's odd. Well, we'll jump into the game against Watford then, if we're selected. If you enjoyed today's episode, then make sure you hit the uh, like button and subscribe if you haven't already, as our dribbling and agility both go up one thanks to training, which is fantastic. We'll see if we're selected for this one. We are. That's odd. Holgate, Funes Marie and Pennington. Pennington is going to be the centre-back now. Tyus Browning's out for three months. What sort of rating is Pennington? I want to have a look at his stats. Matthew Pennington is 69 rated. Uh, decent physical stats, but only 70 stand tack on 65 slide. Funes Marie is going to have his work cut out there, I think, as are the two central defensive midfielders in these next two games. But never mind, we'll just take the hit on the chin with Tyus Browning, John Stones and Seamus Coleman. To be fair, Holgate and um, Tyus Browning were fantastic in the two games they played, so I'm quite happy with their inclusion. Uh, as replacements for John Stones and Seamus Coleman. But Pennington for Tyus Browning, I, I withhold judgment, shall we say. Let's jump into the Capital One Cup game against Watford then. Besic. I called for it. He's not going to give it to me, but Lennon will. And we'll go back to Aaron Lennon. Is he going to turn his side? Is he going to give the ball back to me? He's giving it to Lukaku. Quickly gets it out to Mason Holgate. Crosses the ball back in. Flicked on by Lukaku. But Arla comes and claims. I wish Romelu had had a shot there. We haven't had a chance yet that has actually been taken properly. There's been no real final ball from either side. That was the first potential chance that we could have had a shot there. But sadly, Lukaku chose to, uh, to pass the ball out wide back to Mason Holgate rather than actually give it a good old swing with his right foot. Which... It may have been a good idea, because his right foot isn't the best Lukaku, but personally, as especially considering he's been in great form, he would have thought instinctively he'd have wanted to have a shot there, but never mind, 25 minutes in, he didn't, and we stay at 0-0. Ekstrand gets it through the middle to Abdi. Got Berami making a run around the outside. He went offside, but came back onside the Swiss. Tries to cross, but Mason Holgate cuts it out well. Again, another very so Oh, jeeps, Joel, what's he doing? I was about to say, another very solid game from Mason Holgate. And to be fair, Pennington's played well as also, but he's not had much to do, in complete honesty. Watford haven't really threatened. They almost got themselves a goal there through our goalkeeper being completely retarded. But fortunately, Joel was able to recover the ball and they weren't going to get themselves a cheap goal to go 1-0 in front. Uh, Watford, Besic might be able to help us create a chance here too. It's been nothing happened really in this half. Oh, bring it! Oh, try to bring it down on the chest. Leave it, Besic. Oh, he's headed into me. Okay, fair enough. I wanted a corner, but never mind. We'll lay that in. Go on, have a shot, Morales. Oh, sunshine! You've got to get that on target. That shot sums up this entire first half. He's got so much space. Kevin Morales, what a waste! Ridiculous. Abdi lays it down the line for Fabrini to run onto. Good run. Has to turn it back to Abdi inside. Can he get a cross in? He's turned inside Aaron Lennon far too easily. Chance for Watford. There's a good save by Joel. The first genuine shot of the game so far for Watford. And only really the second after that awful chance that Morales wasted earlier on. Corner then for Watford. I didn't quite see who they were bringing on there. I skipped it. It's uh, Mate or Mate. Don't know how to pronounce that. Don't know what nationality is. To uh, to come on for Valeron Barami. Here's... Nathan Baines, counter-attack coming, Morales to me. I may actually go back to Kevin Morales here rather than to Lukaku because Morales has more space to run into. Myself and the big Belgian are in the middle. Can the not-so-big Belgian get the ball into the box? Oh, you're quite happy to settle for a corner, are you, Kevin? Fair enough. We'll see if we can get something from the corner then. He's going to take it himself. 
And it comes. It's headed my way. Keeper comes to punch. Aaron Lennon recovers into Funes Marie. I don't really fancy him with a shot from the edge of the box, but can we get the ball in, into the danger area? Here is Funes Marie again. Gibson, I've called for it. Back heels it to me. Let's try a burber spin between the two defenders, perhaps. Oh, he fell over in front of me, and it stopped me from getting the shot in. Completely broke his ankles, and he just flopped to the floor in front of me, and there's no way for me to tell my man to hurdle. Oh, they in pains, really. There's no way for me to tell my man to hurdle the guy in front of him. I just have to keep running forwards. And uh, always oh, giving his strip back to me. Let's try a finesse for the far top corner off the post. Lennon on the follow-up. He's kicked it straight at the keeper, and it's gone over the top of the bar. This has been one of the most frustrating games we've had ever in my play. And not just this season, for the entire series is ridiculous. We cannot get a decent chance. And even if a chance does come, we can't get the ball into the back of the net. Cleared away by Dorado. 60 minutes played. Still nil-nil. If there are no goals after 90 minutes, it's extra time. Dorado into Wanfran to Bergui. Bursts past two. Gets the ball into the middle, but Pennington clears. But they're going to get a free kick here for something that happened after the ball had gone. Lukaku going off as well. Substitution made. I don't understand why, but Leandro Rodriguez has come on. Good cross in. Might be a dangerous ball if Holgate or Gibson can get rid of it. They can't. No, Watford take the lead. I can't believe they've scored that. I mean, if a side was going to take the lead in this game, it was going to be as scrappy as that, wasn't it, really? The two defenders mess it up between themselves. It pops free. They have a shot. Joel makes the save, but can only palm it straight to the man, waiting to put it into the back of the net. Darren Gibson and Mason Holgate completely balls it up, and he almost put it over the bar. He hit it so hard from five yards, he almost put it over the bar. But it is 1-0 Watford, and that's probably us out of this competition. Morales into my path. I see Kone, but I'll give it to Barkley. It lets it run, intentionally or not, I'm not sure. It gives it to me. We'll have a crack from distance. It's been blocked by Hoban. It's gone out for a corner. I just had to give that a shot, I'm afraid. I, I wasn't going to look for a teammate in that situation. So many people in and around us. We just had to get the shot off. Oh, he's won it. Oh, my God. What a goal line clearance. Unbelievable defending from Hoban. He, oh, it was Wanfran. I was going to say, Hoban blocked my shot. And then we're not even going to see a replay of that. Wow. What? I can't believe that. So close to an equaliser with two minutes to go. That's a terrible corner. Oh, he's done it again, Samal. He's a different player this time, but another goal line clearance. This is ridiculous. Morales is going to take another corner. Two goal line clearances in the space of 30 seconds. And the keeper's come to punch that. Joel, our keeper, is up in the box. Now, Lennon, get there. He's going to give it to me. We've got a bit of space to I shoot. No, I can't really justify it from there. We'll give it to Kone instead. His touch has taken him away from goal, though. He gets tackled, but Baines recovers. Can we get ourselves a last gasp equaliser to take it to extra time? Baines to Lennon. It's a really poor shot. It's going to end 1-0 to Watford here, despite all of our last-ditch efforts. I can't believe it. I can't believe two... Last minute goal line clearances. How have they kept that out? How have we not scored there? I do not know whatsoever, but it looks like it's going to be a 1 0 defeat against Watford and uh, we're going to be going out of the Capital One Cup. I mean, perhaps it means we can concentrate our efforts on the Champions League and the FA Cup and the Premier League. Although Lennon scored a last minute equaliser with a screamer from the edge of the box. The game is not over yet. 1-1 in the 97 billionth minute. Aaron Lennon whips one into the far bottom corner. How has he even come up with that first time and bent it beautifully into the bottom corner? Just as I was getting prepared to end the commentary for this particular game, he's gone and given us another 30 minutes worth of football. We are still in the Capital One Cup. Big long ball. Headed clear by Leighton Baines. Picked off by Abdi, but Morales wins it back. Here's Leandro Rodriguez, gets it to me. I'm going to drill it across to Aruna Kone. He's got Ross Barkley ahead of him, is it? That may even be Funes Marie, number 25. I'm not sure, to be honest. Here's Holgate into Kone. It is Funes Marie pushing forward. Here's Mason Holgate, the right back. We're waiting on the edge of the box. Kone might give it to me here if I call for it. First touch is good. Shot is even better. Our 40th goal of our career. After getting a 94th minute equaliser, we've gone and scored a 98th minute in extra time goal to go in front. This game has come alive in the last 10 minutes. Ridiculous. It was completely dead game with a dodgy goal up until the 92nd minute. Oh, what a strike. What a strike. Thank you, Kone. Bosh. We're 2-1 in front now. This has been a crazy game. Nothing happened whatsoever other than that scrappy goal 
until stoppage time at the end of the second half and then everything has come to life. Lennon on the run. Still going Aaron Lennon. Getting a bit carried away, pushing so far forward. Leandro Rodriguez, though, doesn't need any support from me from a central midfield role. Everton 3, Watford 1. This game really has come to life since the 92nd minute. It's been madness. That's a lovely run by Aaron Lennon. I pushed past Aruna Kona, though. It didn't seem really too fast to get in the box at all. Perhaps he knew that Rodriguez was going to finish that. I don't know. Lovely ball in. Great header. Keeper perhaps should have done better. It wasn't too far away from him, but there was a lot of power behind it. Leandro Rodriguez has done more since he come on, since Romelu Lukaku, uh, for Romelu Lukaku, or than Romelu Lukaku, since uh, the substitution. So fair play to the manager for bringing him on. 108th minute goal, it's Everton 3, Watford 1. We've got a corner in the very last minute of the game. We've been wasting as much time as possible up till now. Kone gets it to me. I'll give it a crack. Oh, it's just over the top of the bar, but there goes the final whistle. 3-1 after extra time, Everton against Watford. The game just exploded in second half stoppage time, and then extra time was all one-way traffic. Why we couldn't have done that inside the 90 minutes, I have no idea. Maybe we needed Watford to tie and our three substitutes to have a big impact on the play, but never mind, we will take that. A 3-1 win in the Capital One Cup. We are through to the next round. We get a goal. 93% pass accuracy as well, which is fantastic. And it's on to the next game, which may be the one in the league, or we might be rested again in turn after extra time, waiting for the game in the Champions League against, uh, is it Bayer Leverkusen, I think, next? Baines into me. Lukaku's made the run and will feed him through. He's onside here, Romelu Lukaku. And he's made a good run as well. Could finish it with a shot. Could... Oh, Romelu! I was just about to call for it as he turned inside, but he has lashed it in with his right foot. Brilliant finish. We'll take the assist. Thank you very much, Romelu. Celebrating in the background, we are, with the Everton fans even further back in the background, jumping up and down for joy as well. I thought he was going to have a shot on his left. He took it too far wide, turned inside, but bang. Buried it top corner with his right. A lot of power behind that. He has been in deadly form, didn't perform against Watford, but straight back into his goal-scoring form in the Barclays Premier League. We will take that. Thank you very much indeed. 1-0 Everton. O'Brien dings it in, but he's picked off by Gibson. Into me. We'll look for Lukaku again. Played it through the air ahead of him. If he can take it in his stride, which he has done. Lukaku! Oh, brilliant shit. Brilliant shit, I almost said. Brilliant hit from Romelu Lukaku on his right foot. Close to a second. Needed a strong arm from Adrian down low. We're definitely starting this game the complete opposite way to the, one we, the way we did against Watford. 1-0 up, almost 2-0 after just 15 minutes. We may get another chance if Cleverly can play through Romelu. I've called for it myself, but terrible pass. But we've won the tackle. We've shrugged him off. We'll go for the cracker ourselves. Ah, oh, not far wide. Not far wide. Could have been 3-0 after 15 minutes. Lukaku. I'll call for it here. We'll just help it on its way around the corner to Darren Gibson. Morales is wanting to make a run, I think, but he's come back inside to me. We'll give that to Romelu Lukaku. Good touch to get around the defender. Lays out a wide to Joe Delefe, who could turn inside, gets it to me. Good first touch. Oh, Adrian stops us from making it too with another very good save. We'll have a corner, though, 25 minutes in. This has been a much better performance than the one against Watford. Maybe we've just been... We've taken the... Oh, we could still get a second here. Maybe we're just taking the impetus from the uh, this extra time oh, from the previous game. Adrian again denies me. We're in such good form right now. Just from stoppage time in the Watford game onwards, we've been unplayable as a side. Uh, unfortunately, though, that corner was nowhere near as good as it needed to be. Another corner for Everton. Delefeu to take. Oh, it's dangerous. Headed my way. Adrian comes and punches it clear. We'll push towards the edge of the box. Maybe we can get it back from Leighton Baines. Or he could whip it in towards Lukaku. He's had to go backwards to Gibson in support. Cleverly to me. Delefeu might make the run. We're playing inside the defender. Gerard Delefeu! Adrian again with another top save. Look at him. He's like, what is going on with my defenders? Where are they? It's 1-0. But we could have scored six by now. We haven't won that header. But Funes Marie might win that. No, Antonio smashes it clear. We could have scored six so far, but we have only scored one. Gibson to Holgate. Cleverly. Nice turn. Or nice touch and turn. Gets it to me. Morales is making runs, so we'll play it ahead of him so he can run onto it. Kevin Morales crosses. Delefeu may even have been cleverly, I think, in the box. Is that cleared by Tompkins? Is it going to be a corner? It is. Delefeu. To take the corner. They've just put on Tosun for Enna Valencia. Besic wins the header, but I think that's going to go straight out. No, Delefeu, I think, was offside, though. He was. 
Noble across to Joey O'Brien. He and Kuyate mix it up. Not long left now at all. It's now or never for West Ham. We won't write them out though because I wrote myself out against Watford and we were able to get a really late winner but that was a good opportunity. Mikel Antonio has wasted that really, really poorly. Two minutes to go. We're into stoppage time. Luke Garbutt's come on at right back which is not the obvious substitution but never mind. Somehow able to keep running with that football but now Cleverly's been picked off by Tosun Tadic gives it back to Cleverly we'll just keep possession here I've called for it just to get it away Morales will maybe make me a run and there's the final whistle not much happened in that second half but we are able to get a 1-0 victory we could quite possibly have had six or seven goals in that first half there were chance after chance after chance and it apparently used up all of the allotted chances that were allowed to happen in this game because Barely anything happened in the second half, but we take all three points. We get the assist as well, and uh, I'm quite happy with that, to be completely honest. Three points in the league, progression through in the cup, and, well, I mean, the way we performed against Watford was shit until uh, stoppage time at the end of the second half, but in... Uh, extra time we were unplayable and West Ham had no answers to what we were throwing at them in that game either so we'll take our point from the Juventus game and try and build on it with the next game in the Champions League against Leverkusen when it comes to the uh, Barclays Premier League if it will ever change thing for me uh, we are top of the table still with 17 points and unbeaten. Five wins and two draws. Thank you very much. Still two other sides unbeaten in Chelsea and Liverpool. And uh, Chelsea have a game in hand, actually, and could go level on it with us at the top. But I'm quite happy with how this season is going at Everton, despite the fact that we sold a couple of key personnel. We've still been getting results, which is the most important thing. That's all for today, though. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days. And I'll see you.